Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for being here today. We have a blue box. Um, we have had this thing since December 3rd, at least that's the day we ordered it. And we think today is just a great day to go ahead and open it up. The miss is here with me. She's going to slice and dice, you know, me and the whole very nice uh, scissor thing. And hopefully uh, this one is going to be a fun box. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Man. All right. Paperwork. Okay. It looks like we are putting more and more things into fewer bags. Okay. So it looks like we have two bags. Loose watch. Looks like a loose bracelet and aha! Fun envelopes. All right. Okay, you gonna open the envelopes for me? All right. So let's let's work on this and see what on earth. Okay, we got some dirt coming out. Okay, this is kind of a little different than normal. We got some dirt and all right. Ooh. Okay, I'm thinking that Carnelian looks uh, graduated and then wondering if this isn't Jade. It has got a mark. Sterling. You know what? I think this is a beautiful piece of Jade. Uh, what we'll do is at the end um, we will go ahead and do a close-up for everything. Here's an Alex and Ani. Beautiful. It looks like it needs some cleanup, but that's okay. Okay, this one... It has some markings on it. Lesser. Beautiful. It has the safety catch. Okay, well, this one we'll take a look a little closer look at. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It looks like we have marcasite and then the pearls. A double safety. Nine two five marked and then marked with an A down here so I'll get close on that too nice that's beautiful okay is this what was in the other um, bag thing the little... okay oh okay looks like we have a unikite pendant and this is marked 925 if that's 925, that is some, that is a lot of weight there. This, I don't think this one is marked, but we'll have to look at that. Oh, I'm wondering if this is, Mo no, I don't think this is Monet. All right, let's see. Okay, this says 925. And this says Mexico, and then it has a T number, and it looks like 124. So that'll be interesting to see if that tests for sterling. Okay, with well this one. Oh, I don't know that symbol. Okay, it has kind of a, almost like, hmm. I'm not sure what that symbol is, but that is in a rose gold tone. So something marked, that is good. Okay, this still looks new. It still has plastic on it. Okay, this has the same symbol that this does. And I'll get close to it. I don't, a standing lion? I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so that is cute. So these two look like they go together. And 
Looks like we have more silver. Okay, 925. And a little dolphin, and I'm going to say that's a rhinestone. Although I'm going to get my handy dandy tester to find out. And we will show that up close and personal again. Like I said, we're going to go through this really quick and we will get nice and close to it. Nice little geode. How cute is that? Clipped, clipped earrings. Cute. Okay, these look like some nice. So I get the other one open. These are older. Those look like really nice topaz. Okay, we will take a look at those. A black looks very cool. A little black gem. These are cute little earrings. And then this pair of earrings, they have the like the two stage where this comes out and this goes behind the ear or you can do it in front of the ear. Cute and that would actually, that looks like it goes with these. And this is Brighton. Oh, that's a pretty watch. Look at that. Okay, we'll show that up nice up close and personal. And then this is the one that came flying out of the box. Mm, SDG? That almost looks like uh, Black Hills Gold. So we will definitely take a look at that. Cute. Oh, that's cute. Um, Peyote Bird. Nice. And then is this the last one, honey? Okay. Let's see if we have any mark. Okay, well, we've got a silver clasp and looks like maybe a bunch of freshwater pearls. Gorgeous. Okay, uh, let's. we're going to change the camera a little bit and give you a nice up close and personal at this lot. All right, well, let's get up close and personal. Let's start with the Brighton watch, silver tone, and we have the wooden bezels here. And it's tagged Bellarive, B-E-L-L-E-R-I-V-E. -E. Didn't initially see it um, on the search engine when we looked, but it's really, really pretty and it's working. Nice bonus here. And then we have this gorgeous little geode. Now on the geode itself, look at that jersey in there, isn't that gorgeous? Uh, you know, it's got that, that gold wash. Uh, the chain is marked 120 14 carat, and it looks a little dated. So I would put the geode on another chain, put that in scrap. These cute earrings are marked 925, 18 karat, which is the gold here around the bezel, and then they have some form of black stone, and they're marked Carol Lee, but that just doesn't want to stay, it's a heavy little piece, let me tell you. Um, so you've got that gold here, and then the rest would be silver, nice little heavy set here. Okay, these ones are, I believe, converted. Let me open this up. Um, the bezel and the back here all test positive for sterling, but this piece, the actual clip-on piece, is not. I think what happened was these were pierced earrings and somebody converted them to clip-ons. So you have half silver and half knot. Uh, with the silver testing, I would say now that these are probably uh, real gemstones. And the last in this group would be the SDG watch. 
and I found that and it's South Dakota gold watches and although this one doesn't have its original packaging we did find one that did and according to the packages these are 12 karat leaves so we have this beautiful band it says Japanese movement on there it looks like we have a little diamond so this is also a really nice little find okay on the rose gold looking set um, I still haven't found the symbol. It looks kind of like a dragon, um, you know, blowing some fire. So I'm not real sure, but the bangle and this cute little adjustable bracelet or anklet has it. And these don't, but they have the same look. So I'm going to say they're probably all a set. Um, so that one needs more research. The Alex and Ani. The ohm symbol is from 2012, and it does have all of the little hang tags. Needs some cleanup, but I think that's overall in pretty decent shape. And this one, these are diamonds. They test as diamonds, but once we got the kind of little bit of polishing cloth on it, a lot of the finish started to come off. So I think might as well finish probably stripping the rest of the silver tone off. I mean, these are diamonds, they do sparkle. You know, that nice little infinity. It does have the safety catch. It is well made. So I think, um, you know, with some cleanup to get the rest of that off, I think this would be probably, you know, even as nice as it looked when it was new. All right, the little silver group. All right, this one is marked and scratch tested as 925. The really adorable little pendant is also marked and tested as 925. And you have a really, really beautiful uh, simulated diamond there. So this has a great little look. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, definitely having silver toned issues with this one. It is a really pretty piece of unikite. Um, take it off, have it reset. I don't think it would be uh, too terribly difficult to get it out of this mounting. The bangle that was marked Mexico, the TV124, a 925. It also uh, scratch tested as sterling. And then the chain that was on this pendant, <coughs> gorgeous chain. A beautiful big lobster claw it has like this rope this twisted rope design and it is 21 and a half grams of sterling silver it also tested as sterling marked Italy so this is a nice little nice little group all right we found this exact peyote bird bracelet on the internet and uh, coral uh, 925 and it's the three examples we found uh, one was 36 one was 38 and one was 39 so right around the 35 to 40 dollar range so that was really nice and it's really pretty and this one oh okay beautiful graduated looks like carnelian beads it's marked sterling on the spring ring and it is marked sterling on this mounting. Now the mounting is looks like it was made for this carving and after looking at it I still don't know what this carving is. Um, I don't know maybe someone can see it. You know I was hoping to see a fish, maybe it was a whale, maybe it was an octopus. I, You know what doesn't if you make a suggestion I still don't see it so um, hopefully someone can say oh look look I see that. But regardless, um, I think I would take this and have it um, take it to the lapidary for two reasons. One, this I was really um, leaning when we first saw it with it. Oh, maybe that's a, a jade carving, but it doesn't have that density um, that, you know, that weight that jade has. It doesn't really have that. And it's not as cool as, uh, you know, jade tends to be. So I'm not sure, it doesn't quite have the right coloring for a carnelian either, but it certainly could be. Uh, but I would have them uh, straighten this back out because, you know, you can see it. I mean, it's visibly, you know, kind of wavy. 
So I think that needs to be repaired. And we'll finish the box with two certainly fan favorite uh, pieces out of pearl. We have a lot of pearl lovers out there. Uh, the first one is an eight strand small, I'm gonna say freshwater pearls. It does have a 925 lobster claw clasp, chain, and findings here. It is a beautiful piece. Those are beautiful, lustrous pearls. I mean, they are nice quality pearls. And then the second one is kind of this Art Deco style bracelet. And it is marked 925, double safety catch. Um, and the these are encrusted with what looks to be marcasite. Uh, these are certainly gritty pearls. And the here's the 925 here, and it is marked with the little heart, and then the 925, and then an A. So we still need to do a little research on that. But uh, all of the pieces are testing positive for silver. So this is quite a looker. I just love this Art Deco look. It is stunning. All right, gang, that's the box. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Uh, you heard what I thought about it, so let me know what you think. Thank you guys so, so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. Until next time, be safe. Take care. We'll see you soon.